What is going on guys? Welcome. I made it to where I'm going to be camping today. I'm camping right out here. I've camped here before, but on this trip, I'm going to be camping in the wind because it's supposed to be windy this whole trip. So let's get camp set up and see how this goes. All right, I got camp all set up. I just have to uh, do the thermostat and I'm gonna put these lights up. I gotta say, when I first got here, guys, it was 58 degrees outside. And with the wind, ooh, man. You can tell the, the seasons are changing. It is 71 degrees right now. It does not feel like that. It feels more like in the low 60s, just because of the wind. So I've just been chilling, chilling in the wind. <laughs> I gave the thermostat some time to adjust. It is 62 degrees outside. I did have to put my sweatshirt on because it's just too windy and with the wind and because it's not that hot out, I just need a little extra warmth and you know what, the sweatshirt's perfect. Man, those trees are swaying in the wind. Oh, my chair fell. Okay. So I'm gonna be working on the fire ring here in a minute. I don't have much to do. I've camped at this spot before. So the reason I came to this spot again was because ever since I camped at this spot, I've just been off key, off kilter, off tune, off step, whatever you wanna call it. Just like, I've just been off. And so ever since I've been off was the trip I took when I got caught in the thunderstorm and heavy rain where it soaked everything, my chair, where I couldn't sit in my chair and then I soaked all the wood and everything so I couldn't have a fire. That trip, that's when it all started. 
and it's this camping spot that I'm at. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna come to this camping spot again and hopefully I'll redeem myself and whatever this funk and you know off kilter I am will go away and I'll be good to go. I think now though, I'm gonna go ahead and walk around and gather a bunch of wood so I can have an awesome fire. So if you take a look at the wood I have right now, this is the wood I brought. I have, there are as well these two like giant pieces that are cut up. And then I have all of this. So I am going to walk around and gather some more. And you know, one of the things I have been and wanting, really wanting to get is a freaking ax so I can gather more wood and not have to rely on bringing some already cut up decent wood. The sweatshirt had to come off, man. I started sweating. 
I had a feeling that was gonna happen when I started uh, sawing up the wood, but take a look at my pile right now. That's all I have cut up, stuff I didn't have to cut up, stuff I might cut up. So now I'm just gonna chill until it's time to spark up the fire or if I get hungry first, make my food.
I was just enjoying my tea, enjoying the fire. Take a look. That is what the fire looks like right now. It is mesmerizing, let me just tell you. But yeah, I just came to realize, I was like, oh man, it's about to be pitch black and I am hungry. So I am going to make my sandwich so I can enjoy that with the fire and the rest of my evening.
All right, my sandwich looks delicious. I do have more like bread and stuff, just in case I'm still hungry, I can make another one. But anyways, before I eat, I can see through the trees that the moon is out and it's supposed to be a full moon. So I have a, I have a moon tracker on my phone. So I busted that out just to see what the path was gonna be. And I saw at a certain point at night, it's gonna be hitting my tent so I'm going to bust out my umbrella and put it um, in its way so when it gets to the opening, it won't shine in my tent. The umbrella will block it. I will say as well, the wind wasn't that bad. Like I've, I've gone camping where it's windy and it's, uh, it hasn't been pleasant, but this, this trip isn't that bad with the wind.
Good morning, everybody. I've just been chilling, relaxing by the fire, enjoying my tea, just like my normal mornings. Here's what the fire looks like. I did debate earlier if I should I add more wood to the fire I'll cut up the fruit have some more tea and just enjoy as much as I can out here just because this was always a short trip because I have a meeting uh, in the afternoon I need to get to and so I need to leave in about an hour anyways it was still worth it still a great trip but I decided that I'm not going to add more wood. I'm not going to go ahead and take care of the fruit. I'll just, um, I'll put some fruit and snacks in the front seat. And when I drive home, I'll just munch away. And that'll hold me over until I get home. Uh, oh, something that did happen. This, uh, what do you call it? Shovel. It broke on me. The screws came loose over here. So when I went to pick it up, that came off. So, and I can't find the screws anywhere. It happened right here. So that's busted. I'll see if I can fix that. That technically is my friend, so my bad. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start packing up and getting out of here, but this is where I'm gonna leave you. So just like normal, I appreciate you. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is, and hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care, guys.